Okay, we are hours away from the first presidential debate of 2024. There will be no audience, no real-time fact-checker, and the moderators will have a new safeguard if things go off the rails. Take a look. If we go behind the podiums, you can see two green lights. When they're on, they signal to the candidate his microphone is on. When the green lights are off, they signal to the candidate his microphone is off. He's going to interrupt me as I'm speaking, and this is what it will sound like. My volume remains constant, while Phil's interruption can be difficult to understand. Now, let's try the opposite. My microphone is now on. Victor's microphone is off, and he's going to interrupt me. My volume remains constant, while Victor's interruption can be difficult to understand. <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of anxiety going into tonight. But, I mean, really, is there anything that could happen that would have a major impact on the election? And watch yourself, Joy, when you answer this. When you answer this question. Well, absolutely. This debate, it's for all Americans, but it's mainly for undecided voters. We know where we are in this. Um, if Donald Trump goes off the rails like he did in that first last debate... Proud boy, stand back, stand by. That moment where Joe Biden said, would you shut up, man? And he looked unhinged. That hurt him. If, he, if that Donald Trump shows up tonight, that could have a real impact. On the flip side, if D Joe Biden were to have a senior moment, if he paused what at length. What does that mean, had, a if, senior moment? If he yeah. had trouble gathering his thoughts or expressing what he is for an extended period of time. We remember He's the Mitch McConnell moment. He's a stutterer. But yeah. people know that, so I think he gets some grace with it. And I'm not saying this is going to no, happen. No, 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 I'm, I'm that asking could change, so you could tell you That could, tell could change folks. the outcome. But here's what's interesting to me. Joe Biden is taking this incredibly seriously. He's been prepping at Camp David for the last week. I've prepped Donald Trump for things. I've also prepped the former vice president, the secretary mm. of defense, tons of lawmakers. All of them prep like Joe Biden does, reading policy sheets, mock debates, asking questions. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump does not prep. If you try to give well, him... Well, he hasn't had time because he was in a criminal courtroom <laughs> in New York. It does make it hard. Time. But even if you do try to get in front of him and say, this is how you answer this question yeah. on the border. Here's the answer on January 6th. Mm -hmm. He doesn't internalize. He doesn't listen to feedback. Right. So I'm curious how he answers the tough questions. You know, I, I'm can I, can mm -hmm. I say something that's been bothering me and it's been bothering me and bothering me? I would like every Republican out there to stop referring to this man as the president. Mm -hmm. He is not the president. The former he president. He is the former president. And, I, you know, nobody can see the future. And the same with the donors. Mm -hmm. You know, the, all, you cannot yeah. buy the presidency. You can mm -hmm. put as much money as you want to, but it's not for sale. So stop calling him the president. He is not the president yet. He's the former president. Yeah. president with all the other things attached i'm sorry especially I because he's you. going to be with the current president yes yeah. um, I, you know i um agree with everything that, that you've said in, in terms of listening you know, the women in the video was some few hours before the debate between president um former president donald trump according to whoopi and president Biden, which is the present president we could see that um they were talking about that debate and cnn we see how they perform um they were showing the button that um, um, there will be no audience in that. There was no audience. The volume, um, if you're not talking, your mic will be switched off. If you're talking, they give you one um, a particular minute to answer the question. After that particular minute, your mic is going to be switched off. You're not allowed to talk. Um, so they were, it had a lot of guidance. But according to the women in the view, the come and say that no according to all those guidance the people still have um they have to do more because president donald trump is closer to president Biden. obviously he's going to say some type of things and president donald trump president Biden is going to hear it so according to them they should look for them um an isolated box that individual will be in their own way wherever they are so basically according to um um so Farah Far was saying that she knows that if President Donald and um, President Biden who have speech, um, everybody knows that President Biden have speech, um, is the stammer. So they gave him grace for that. So if he stammer or a bit going to age, he cannot see some type of things. Um, it's nice that that volume is not going to pick up. Hope he was not happy about that. Hope he saying not everybody have um. Everybody is in that same age, and then everybody have 
period had this stammer also. So Hopi was not very happy about that. We all know that out of Farah, Farah was just against that President Donald Trump. All he does is lie. He has lied until people start believing him. So there's a lot of facts that need to be talked about him. Because if people don't start saying those facts about him, other people are not even going to believe other people. See, there's a lot of factual things. Everybody needs to come out and be talking about President Donald Trump because just allowing President Donald Trump like that is going to be a very disastrous thing to do. So according to the women in the view, they want that um, scenario in such a way that uh, all the lies are because they say President Donald Trump, since they begin, they still talk type of number of lies that according to Sony, the lies are so much according to since President Donald Trump became a president and CNA. So they were saying that CNA have the right not to be bringing out all those news. There are a lot of producers that can still stop it not to air it out. But overall, the women in the views were just saying that that's going to be a lot of work, and but they can still adjust it not to bring out those lies because some lies that he's saying, everyone knows that he's lying. Why would you just come out and be giving relevance to people for things that everyone doesn't know that he's lying? So obviously, what are you really thinking about all this? Um, the debate, um, which is a good one, and we CNA decided to talk um to, de to do it. So everyone is very happy about that. President Donald Trump is excited. President Biden is excited. President Biden has been, um, they have been training him on the debate. But we all know President Donald Trump refuses and no one can train him in anything. He doesn't want feedback. He's a man on his own. That's why they even talk about his vice president. That whoever, um, the vice president, you can only be that person that you cannot outshine him. You cannot talk when he's speaking. You just have to keep quiet and listen to what what he's saying. So actually, what do you really think? Can I see your opinion on the comment section about all this President Bidona Trump, President Biden? How helpful was it in that debate? Was it really helpful that there was no mic? Because apart from everything, we all see that President Biden has this stamina. President Biden could not even speak for all those training they gave him. He still came and did not perform well. Some people see that because he overtrained. That was too much for somebody of his age. Some people say no, he was sick. So which one are we pushing? The natural did not even have no practice. He performed way better than President Biden. So actually, what do you think? Do you think that the next election is coming? Which is coming? Is it worth it for President Biden to go and do all those training? Which you just sit just like President Donald Trump is doing and just know that he's going to do well and obviously he's going to do well. Let me see your opinion, opinion in, in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and help share the video and like the video. If you share and like the video, please give an option for YouTube to share uh, us more and give us um, visibility and encourage us to keep bringing more videos. Thank you very much. God bless you.